Hi, ni hao, I'm Chef Tom. I'm cooking with Bailey today. We are making Asian pork tenderloin today. And we're gonna serve with some white rice and on top of romaine lettuce. We're gonna show you. Okay, babe? You say hi? High five? High five? <laughs> That's a good boy. <laughs> Bailey's a good boy, huh? First, we're gonna marinate the pork loin. I use a fork and give them a quick stab like this because we want the sauce to go into the meat. And next, I'm gonna add some turmeric and some ginger and garlic, brown sugar, just like that, some fish sauce. Sesame oil, wine, soy sauce, and a little bit tamarind. That's almost like a sour plum. Get them a really nice, sweet, and sour balance. And I'm just gonna use my hand. I'm gonna mix it up. We are cooking outdoor today. That's even with cooking outside, we still have to concern about the food cross-contamination and the san sanitary. You still have to make sure everything done it right. And when I'm done with this pork, I make sure I'm going to wash my hand really good and I come back out. Now my grill is nice and hot. And we're just going to place the marinated pork loin in. Oh, smells so good. Amazing. There we go. And then we're gonna let them cook maybe like a two minutes on each side. And we're gonna flip it occasionally. And the proper temperature to cook a pork is about, you know, I would say about 140. But uh, I usually go with the feel. It's so beautiful out now. Look at that. Oh, it's windy. But it's really not that cold. Okay, we're gonna give them a quick turn. I'm gonna use a spatula. Nice. Once you turn, when they set, and don't touch it. Otherwise, the will stick on the nice uh, hot pan, I mean grill. See that? We're gonna uh, rotate on the other side for two minutes each. It's really windy right now, and they will blow all the hot heat on the grill. So I suggest cover up. If like summertime, really hot, it's perfect. Just cook out with the lid open. Now we're gonna give them a quick brush. And then, we're just gonna uh, give them another flip. This side, give them a quick brush. Ah, oh, smells so good. I grill all year long. <laughs> Even like uh, below five or 10, I don't care. Put on my deck. I just wear my winter coat. It's so much fun. Almost there. Okay, let's see. Looking good. Oh. Pretty good.
This side is done. The other side still need like one minute. That's it. Or you can use your finger method, like here, medium rare, here, done. <laughs> My hand is very firm, so they all like done. <laughs> but I can tell, or you can use, you see, you hit, they're not like super soft, they kind of like have bounced it back, kind of firm, that's good. But if you feel it, it's like a rock, uh-oh, that's overcooked. <laughs> so this is good. All right, we're gonna turn it off. I'm gonna let that meat rest on my counter for maybe uh, five minutes before we're gonna cut it. Now I'm just gonna use a foil to cover it up like this. It's windy out, so I'm gonna take a knife here and maybe a couple spoon here. Prevent that food away. Let it rest for five minutes. So the meat will be nice and tender. If you cut it right now, all the juice will release it and your meat will become tough again. Now we are ready to cut. Oh, look at that. Huh? What do you think? Gorgeous. Look at that. Juicy. See the lines this way, so I cut against the grain. Real quick. Beautiful. Ooh, this is my favorite part. Mmm. Wow. Where's the line? This way. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So delicious. Now we are ready to serve. Romaine lettuce. I get some rice in. It's a sticky rice. Some rice in like that. And I get a strip of English cucumber, right? And then I take maybe one or two of the meat, right? And then I just gonna add some sriracha. See this? Add some sriracha in. If you have some spicy mayo, you can add that in. Just a little bit, not much. And then I got some leftover crunchy roasted peanut with some cilantro mix on the top. Here we go. That's a beautiful bite. I hope you like the video. I'm Chef Tom. Thank you for watching. I see you next time. Bye. Oh my goodness. Mm. Packed with flavor. I don't know how to describe it.